Welcome to Premath. In this video, we are going to solve this given uh, radical uh, equation. Square root of x equals to 33 minus uh, the square root of x minus uh, 33. In other words, we are going to solve for uh, x values. And eventually, we are going to check our answers for any extraneous solutions. And please make sure that our domain is going to be x... Uh, greater than or equal to 33 and less than uh, infinity. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on our this given uh, radical uh, equation. And I'm going to move uh, this uh, radical part uh, on the left hand uh, side. So once we move this one, that is going to give us square root of x uh, plus uh, square root of x uh, minus uh, 33 equals to 33. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now I am going to take a square on both uh, sides uh, of this equation. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity. A plus B whole square could be written as A square uh, plus b square plus 2 times ab and we are going to apply it on the left hand side of this equation so therefore uh, this could be written as square root of x uh, whole uh, square plus likewise uh, square root of uh, x uh, minus uh, 33 whole uh, square plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of x uh, and then uh, square root of x uh, minus uh, 33 is going to be equal to 1089 and now we can see this square and square root they undo each other likewise they undo each other as well so therefore we are ended up with uh, x uh, plus uh, x uh, minus uh, 33 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of x uh, times square root of uh, x uh, minus uh, 33 equals to 1089. And now if we combine these uh, two like terms, uh, x plus x is going to give us uh, 2x. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now I'm going to add 33 on both sides and we can see this negative 33 and positive 33, they are gone. And if we add these one, that is going to give us uh, 1122. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now I am going to divide each and every term by 2 across the board to make things uh, simple. So therefore we are ended up with uh, x plus uh, square root of uh, x times uh, square root of uh, x uh, minus uh, 33 equals to 561 and i'm going to call this one our equation number one so thus we are ended up with this uh, equation one and now we are going to solve for uh, x uh, value and now let's focus on our this uh, original uh, equation and here I have copied it down and now I'm going to move uh, this uh, part uh, to the right hand side and at the same time I'm going to move uh, this uh, radical part uh, in the opposite direction so therefore we are going to have uh, square root of uh, x uh, minus uh, 33 is going to be equal to 33 minus uh, square root of uh, x and now let's focus on this equation one once again i'm going to focus on this part square root of uh, x minus uh, 33 and we know our square root of x minus 33 equal to 33 minus square root of x so i'm going to replace uh, that one with uh, 33 minus uh, square root of x uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now I am going to distribute uh, these ones so therefore this could be written as uh, x uh, plus 33 times uh, square root of uh, x and then minus uh, 
square root of x times square root of x is going to give us simply x and that is going to be equal to 561 and now we can see x and negative x they are gone so therefore we are ended up with 33 times the square root of x equal to 561 and now i am going to divide both sides by 33 to isolate square root of x this is gone so therefore square root of x turns out to be equal to 17 and now we are going to undo this square root by taking a square on both sides and here we can see square root and square they undo each other so therefore our solution uh, x value turns out to be 17 square is going to be 289 so thus our solution uh, x value turns out to be 289 by using the very first method and now i'm going to show you the alternative method and now let's focus once again on this uh, equation one and here i have copied down our equation one and now we are going to multiply these uh, radicals and now we can see inside this uh, radical uh, if we distribute x so that is going to give us uh, x square uh, minus 33 times uh, x and now i'm going to move this uh, x uh, on the other side so therefore we are ended up on the left hand side with uh, x square minus uh, 33 times uh, x equal to 561 minus uh, x and now i'm going to undo this uh, square root by taking a square uh, on both sides uh, of this uh, equation so the left hand side uh, this square root and square they cancel each other out so we ended up with the uh, x square uh, minus uh, 33 x is going to be equal to and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square minus 2 times a b and we are going to apply it on the right hand side uh, binomial so therefore this is going to be 3 14 7 21 minus uh, 11 22 times x uh, plus uh, x square and here we can see this x square and x square they are gone and i'm going to move uh, this part uh, on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step i have moved uh, this part uh, on the other side with a positive sign and if we combine these uh, like terms that is going to give us uh, 1089 times x as you can see in this uh, next step i have combined these uh, like terms and we are ended up with uh, 1089 times x and now i'm going to divide uh, both sides by 1089 to isolate x we can see this is uh, gone so therefore uh, our solution uh, x value is going to be equal to 289 so thus our solution uh, x value turns out to be 289 uh, as well by using the second uh, approach and here's our final step now we are going to check uh, our answer for any extraneous solution for x values so therefore we are going to focus on this uh, original radical equation and we are going to substitute uh, x equals to 289 value over here and uh, x equals to 289 value over here as well as you can see in this uh, next step and we are going to see whether the left hand side uh, equals to the right hand side and now we can see the square root of 289 is simply 17 and this uh, inside this uh, radical part uh, 289 minus 33 is going to give us 256 if we take a square root of that one that is going to give us simply 16 so therefore we can write uh, 17 is it uh, equal to 33 minus uh, 16 and now we can see 33 minus 16 is uh, 17 so therefore we can see 17 uh, turns out to be equal to 17 and we checked our answer so thus we conclude that uh, x equals to 289 is our only solution thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye